Oh, this one looks like it has some uh, real good moist flush to it. So we're taking a taking a sample of some of the local fresh produce. Got some star apples and lots of coconuts. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. I can see this coconut is very uh, fresh. Thank you, though. That that work done that. Who ready for that work? There's a couple different types of coconut. So this is a more fleshy one, and this is a more solid type here. You want one piece of this? Yes, yes, yeah, sure. The young one, the young one. Try the young one. Yeah, this is the very, very fresh. Oh, that's very big bees. <laughs> no, no, take it. That's enough. Look here. Oh yeah, it's very moist. So the one that is harder has been uh, longer, longer off the tree. Older on. These are freshly fallen. And everything what you are eating here is fresh. We don't use a chemical things. It's a beautiful morning. And the last day in Suriname, unfortunately. Here in a stretch of uh, a dozen cattle plantations. The village is about 300 people. And uh, well, here's one of the nice big coconut trees. Just beautiful. This was an old sugarcane uh, plantation. And these canals were built by slaves long ago to irrigate all of the lands here used in the 17, 1800s for producing sugar. Ten thirty-six a.m. We're here in the village of Rustenwerk, uh, which is not far from Paramaribo, but is only accessible by water. And this is one of the tiny little songbirds that is a national hobby for men to keep, and they will have competitions for the best singers. Kind of a unique pastime of Suriname. And this area used to be sugarcane plantation and is now a dozen cattle ranches and the village of Rustenberg, which means rest and work. And we were laughing because uh, rest comes first and, and then work. Hello. So our guide has left us to take the boat around to the other side so we can have a, a walk through the town here and hear some of the birds singing. And it's just a beautiful day. I have two lovely folks from Holland here with me on our small group tour. Hello, we're from Holland. <laughs> you come from, from Rotterdam. Rotterdam, the largest port in Europe, which they said has a population just about the same as Washington DC. It's very interesting. So It's funny, we've traveled only, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 minutes from the the big city and here we are in this uh, rural village. There's no roads here. You have to come by boat. So we have some small fish and little shrimps here that are out to dry. 
Oh, those are some very small yeah, shrimp. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. The big one. Our guide was saying they used to farm shrimp in the river to feed them and make them very big and sell for export, but the market has dried up now. And so that venture is no longer profitable. profitable. <clears throat> but they still fish these small natural shrimps and sell them domestically in addition to the cattle ranching here. <coughs> Haven't seen any cars here. It's all motorbikes and uh, ATVs. Uh, here's a pretty green painted house. They all have the walkways over the canal. Someone has done a nice job with that house. Yeah. Lots of pretty flowers. Yeah. And there are some signs around the village. So let's see, how do we pronounce this? Hotom. Houdt uw omgeving schoon. Houdt uw omgeving schoon. Houdt uw omgeving schoon. Take care of the environment. Yes. Oh, here's a car right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it uh, goes anywhere any longer, but that's the first one I've seen here. In Rustenburg. One of the old sluices that was used to manage the tidal flows. That's some big chain. And now we are to another jetty where our guide is supposed to come around and find us. Oh look, here's a lizard right here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and there's some fish swimming around right here. Woo, and jumping around. 